So uh, welcome everybody to our Change Ambassadors Network webinar. This is our last webinar before Change Day on November 17th. And the CanBC Network has been in place since uh, Change Day 2015. And I know that there will probably be some ongoing meetings after that as well. But welcome to this last webinar, at least of this year's campaign. Um, so my name is Robin Speedy and I'm with the BC Patient Safety and Quality Council. I know Colleen Kennedy, the Director of the Innovation and Engagement Team usually hosts these calls, but she's away on leave at the moment, so I'm stepping in on her behalf today. So really happy to have you all joining, and uh, we've got an exciting webinar lined up for you, so looking forward to the call today. So just before we get started, uh, we did want to take a moment to acknowledge the unceded territories that each of us are on today. So for the Council in our office in Vancouver, we'd like to acknowledge the unceded territories of Squamish, tsleil tooth and Musqueam Coast Salish nations who are hosting us today. Um, and since we're all located all around the province, we want to acknowledge the territories that each of you may be on as well today. And I think most of you are probably fairly familiar with the WebEx function, so we won't spend a lot of time on this today, but just a quick rundown in case we do have anyone new joining us on the call. Um, we do have our chat box to the right of the screen, and if everyone would like to just say a brief hello in the chat and introduce yourselves with your name and where you're calling in from today, that would be great. There's a drop-down menu just above the chat box there that says all participants. So it might say just host, so make sure that when you're writing your message, it's um, going to be visible to all participants on the call today. Thanks, Chelsea. Phoning in from Vancouver. Perfect. Starting to see some greetings coming in there. Great. So nice to have all of you on the call today. Um, and we do always record these as well, so we like to make them available to anyone who can't join us in person in the moment. So that will be sent out in our CanBC newsletter after the call, as well as posted on our website, so that if you do have someone else that you know would like to be here today but can't join us, you can certainly pass along that link so they can still get the updates and be part of the movement. And as always, we encourage you to post on social media as well. So we have our Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube accounts for Change Day, and you can link to all of those from our website, changedaybc.ca. And just a reminder on the hashtags that we usually use, so CanBC and Change Day, and then our Twitter handles are at BCPSQC and at ChangedayBC. So if you'd like to tweet out or post on any other social media during the call today, we'd love for you to do that, and we're always adding new updates online and encouraging you to share and like those posts as well. It's nice to get the word out and help spread the energy for the campaign. And you're also lucky to be in the draw today for one of our coveted Change Day t-shirts. So at the end of the call, we will be awarding five random winners with a t-shirt. So Sue Bradley, our amazing program assistant here at the council, will reach out to you to connect with you about that if you're one of the winners and get your size and mailing address and everything. So uh, watch out for that and nice to have you here today. All right. So um, these, these calls are really about bringing together the ambassadors for change that are located throughout our whole province. And really, it's you that have been driving this Change Day movement and campaign this year since we launched in early September. So we're really happy to have um, three different presenting groups on the line today who are going to share about what they've been doing, um, all of the things that they've been doing to generate energy and interest in the campaign, how they've been messaging Change Day, um, to really encourage people to make those pledges related to positive impacts for our healthcare system. And as all of you know, um, really this campaign is about small acts of change adding up to a big impact. So creating that ripple effect of change throughout our province. And our goal has been to reach 5,000 pledges by Change Day, which is next Friday. So coming up, the countdown is on. Um, and we're well on our way to that. And we'll be hearing more about some of the different ways that people are helping to get the word out and encourage pledging. So our first presenter up is Shelly Lynn Gardner, and Shelly Lynn is a rehabilitation assistant and patient safety support with the emergency department at Surrey Memorial Hospital. So Shelly Lynn, we're really glad to have you here, and thank you for taking a few minutes to share with us what you've been doing. I'll pass the uh, ball over to you here, and you can take her away. Welcome. Thank you so much. Can you hear us? I can. Okay, Yay. brilliant. So I have with me as well Chloe Boughton. Uh, she's from pharmacy, and she's kind of my right hand when it comes to our engagement radical team here. So I snagged her into coming and joining us and talking a little bit about uh, what's going on here. So for us 
folks here at Sur Memorial, we have had a very um, condensed version of our change day. Um, the reason being is we have so many things going on on our site, and especially in the fall, we're so busy with stuff, we really didn't want to um, have anything overlapping, and we didn't want uh, change day to lose its impact. So we had to wait for um, Halloween and all of those types of things to end. So we have 17 days from November 1st to the 17th to make our um, change day thing happen. And uh, our goal this year is we get 500 pledges. And I think we last year we were 479. Yeah. So uh, 500, I think we should be able to do it, but we have a much smaller window in which to do it. So I'll let Chloe talk a little exactly. bit about how we're doing it. So what we're getting to do, kind of like you guys are, uh, everyone to fill up their pledge cards. And we've kind of set categories up uh, just to make the thinking process a little bit easier for our staff. So dream big uh, for health and care, uh, caring for patients, residents, clients, and really a lot of the people have actually been putting their, uh, themselves in the mindsets of their patients. Uh, a few we've had is uh, donning a gown and walking around all day with an IV pole or spending an entire 24 hours eating nothing but pureed six vegetables and, and things like that all day just to kind of get themselves in that mindset of how is my patient dealing with this today? Do you know what I mean? To help them relate. Um, caring for loved ones. So again, it doesn't have to be just within your healthcare world. It can be at home as well. Supporting colleagues and even your own health and wellness because I guess self-care is honestly just as good as helping. Like if you're not on board with yourself and you're not centered, how are you going to help your patients, right? So we've um, distributed all sorts of pledges and uh, to each ward, they can fill it out and email it in. And we also have um, booths um, in our what we call our garden walkway, so it's kind of like a thoroughfare for all of our staff to go through. We have our first, eighth, fifteenth, and seventeenth, where we have a booth kind of set up where people can we can kind of rally around and get people in. Um, do you want to go to the next slide? Sure. Beautiful. Hey, there we go. So this is kind of like the last uh, couple times we've done it. The, the top corner is more our site as well. And a cool thing that actually Shelly Lynn came up with this year is the actual big cards, we've laminated them so we can write on, but on the back is all of a sudden the Fraser Health Media Consent Form. So they can sign it, we can take a picture, and we can upload it right away. So we can wipe it down, go to the next person. So these were actually a really cool thing that uh, Shelly came up with this year. As well, we're also doing roaming carts, which is also a really cool idea. Because a lot of times um, the staff don't have time to come out of their unit and take that break. And if they are taking that break, they're running, grabbing coffee, and they're going pee, they're getting some food, they don't have time to stop. Right? So we actually bring the carts to them. And that way, they, they have two seconds to fill something out, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes so be we it. just say, what are you thinking? Let us fill it out for you. Yeah, we'll write it. Tell me what, you, what are you thinking? And then, again, like Chloe was saying, we'll, we'll give them some ideas, some, you know, do you have kids? Okay, have you, are they young? Have you talked to them about hand hygiene? Have you mm -hmm. talked to, do you have elders in your family? Have you talked to them about care planning? So we, you know, throw some of those ideas out there, and some of them are like, oh, what? Oh, that's a good idea. We can totally do that. Yeah, and I think, you know, a common thread that we've seen this time around is just turning off all electronics or no electronics mm -hmm. at the dinner table. Because that getting back to families, just connecting again, is mm -hmm. um, was pretty important for a lot of our folks. Um, so the way that we rolled it out is I started right at the top with our leadership team and our strategy team. I had gone to them and I had said, I did a quick 10 minute, this is change day, it's coming again, you might have remembered it last time. Um, this is what we're looking for, and it was kind of a brief, uh, preview. And I said, I'm going to be back next week, and I will expect to collect your pledge mm -hmm. as leaders. So I didn't give them a choice, but I gave them one week to think about it. And then the next week, I went back into their leadership meeting, and I arrived with pledge cards, and I, and I handed them out first. I said, okay, so just a reminder, this is how it's going, and I'm leaving here with your pledge card. And it was great. Yeah, so it was and wonderful. it worked really well. So um, up on that top left there, that's four of our, uh, our leaders, our site leaders and managers from our site. And we also kind of um, pointed, stuck in a little point system because we know that our, our, our site likes um, competition. Friendly, friendly, friendly competition. competition. We're really, really good at that. Uh, yeah, so we, we added points. So we said for one pledge, your unit gets a point. Yep. And for a pledge with a photo, you get points. two points. And if you get a group pledge, so three or more people pledging to one idea, yeah. you get three points. And if you get a group photo, 
with, with, the, with your pledge, just like we have up in the top corner here, um, you get four points. Yeah. So that's how we were giving points out. And we have people, um, everybody is allowed to keep their pledges on their unit. Yeah. Um, because we want to encourage that within the unit and the team uh, teamwork that goes with that. And then they are able to take a photo of all the pledges, send it to me, um, to our ERAD email address, and then we send it off so kindly to Sue and she makes sure that the magic folks at Changed ABC uploaded to the system. It's like wonderful. So it's very, very cool. Um, so uh, down in the bottom left corner, that was kind of one of our pledge tables. This is the first day that we had done it. So it was a little bit slow, yeah, right down in that corner there. It was a little slow getting rolling, but um, we have kind of an inspiration station so people can walk around and see what's, um, what other people are pledging and they can walk by and, and make pledges. And then we always take our pledges afterwards and we put them in these wonderful kind of shadow boxes that we have and these are all along the main walkway. So, so far, this was the one that we had from last time, but so far we have one new one that's completely full yep. and we have enough pledges to start building our second one. So again, you get to see the progress of that. And um, this is a, on the far right, this is our, our roving carts that you see. And you may recognize those two young ladies, um, Hannah and Shantea. These were the young Change Day champions from 2015. They were um, at um, their elementary school challenged our site to, um, that they would get more pledges than Surrey Memorial Hospital. These ladies went out to their uh, community, they went out to their MLA, they reached out beyond and they, they were fantastic. They, cooked, they really were. They whooped us. Yeah. They did amazing work. So luckily, this year, um, they're on our side. We harnessed their power. <laughs> so we brought them in and they did a, a roving change day cart. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was last Friday and they're coming again this Friday. And then we have one more um, very special guest coming again on uh, this Friday to join these two young ladies. Uh, and that's Jory Goss will also be coming and she was the young lady who spoke at Health Talks yep. last year um, and she won the student contest. So she'll also be um, on that change day cart. So we have some young, uh, fantastic minds that are looking to do something for, um, for healthcare. So it's, it's been a lot of fun and it's been uh, a whirlwind, but like I said, we got 17 days, we have 500 pledges and I'm pretty confident along oh, yeah. with a, we'll lot of our, yeah, a lot of the folks on site. So a lot of it is just really chatting people up, giving them ideas and it's, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, we, we, we've got the, the young dream team here, Kevin. I think, I think you'll like that. So um, that's what we're doing over here. So really it's very organic, uh, lots of reminders, and just really getting out into the units and talking to people yeah. about it. That's it. That's all you got. So back to you. Thank you, ladies. That's wonderful. Uh, oh, man, it, it doesn't seem like not very much. It seems like there's a lot that's going on there for sure. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah. I love the idea of coming to people with the roving carts. I think that's so great because oftentimes people might want to participate in something, but they don't necessarily have the chance to get away and go make a pledge. So by coming to them and just creating the opportunity right in the moment, that's fantastic. And it sounds like you guys have been getting some good pledges that way. So well done on that. That's great. Yeah, and we, we give them some diet lollipops too, and that always helps. That's true. Oh, yes, yes, the candy incentives. <laughs> <laughs> Did you. anyone have any questions for Chloe or Shelly Lynn? Anyone on the call? You can use your, your chat function or you can unmute yourself and speak up and ask them directly if you'd like. Julian, I did see your message about getting in contact. Do you want to get in contact with the pharmacy department here and kind of see what we're working on? If so, I can definitely send my email to you with a bunch of pictures, okay? Perfect. Thank you. The yeah, easiest Great. way to message Chloe is chloe.botton at fraserhelp.ca. I'm the only one. These are there you pretty go. easy to find. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to just type your, your email address into the chat box there? That would be perfect. Yeah. Thanks for that. And there's lots of encouraging comments I'm seeing in the chat around the ideas that you've shared and um, the inspiration station and reaching out to have some of those young ambassadors really getting the injection of energy into the campaign. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I think somebody mentioned too about having the, the photo release, the media consent, because a lot of times we get great pictures but we can't use them because we don't have consent. So yeah. We figured that at least if we have everything in one shot, we take one picture this way, one picture this way, and then we know exactly whose consent belongs to what photo. Yeah. And it's just, it's easy. Everything's done on the spot. And it so. saves a lot of times because before we would actually end up uh, sending out emails like, do you recognize this person? Do you know which unit they're on? And so this kind yeah. of uh, saves that whole issue. 
Yeah, it can be a challenge for sure. That's very smart. Yeah. Seems very well organized. Well, we have Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice job, ladies. Thank you so much for taking the time to share that update with everyone on the call. I'm not seeing any other um, questions or comments coming through at this time, but thanks for posting your email address in the chat box, and anyone that wants to follow up certainly can. Um, so thanks again for joining us today. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> All right, so next up we have Renata Chapman, who is a project manager with facility engagement at the Prince George Medical Staff Physician Association. And we're really pleased to have Renata on the line today because um, I think, you know, thinking about physician engagement and how to involve them in the campaign and encouraging them to be a part of it like everyone else is definitely really important. And I know it's something that we've all probably talked about how to do it effectively. So we're really happy to have you on the call today, Renata, to share some of your strategies and work with us. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate this opportunity uh, to share. Thanks very much. So I joined the first call actually um, because um, it's new to me. The whole concept of change day is new to me and I was excited to hear what everybody else is doing. And um, so thank you for this opportunity and it's great to hear all the creativity. And I mean, I've learned a lot uh, from, from what I hear and what I see. Thank you. So, um, so I can just go ahead with what we're doing. So, um, so as you heard, we work with uh, the physician group at the University Hospital of Northern BC. And uh, so we, our group is actually promoting physician engagement. Um, and uh, so we sort of try to partner uh, with other um, partners as well, not only to promote physician engagement, but also use it to promote change day. So the partners that we've been involved with is uh, the Northern Health Authority, First Nations Health Authority, and then obviously BC Patient Safety and Policy Council. And uh, so we, um, uh, the Prince George Medical Staff Physician Association, we were incorporated in June 2015, and uh, we work with facility-based uh, physicians. We receive funding by Special Services Committee, and as I said, our vision is to improve physician engagement, and so we're trying to get physicians uh, interested and involved in organizational change and in, and in improvement. So, so it sort of uh, fits quite nicely with Change Day as well. So we can proceed to the next slide. Um, okay, so uh, we had a project team, and so we have a physician uh, project lead. Uh, so it's Dr. Marie Hay, and you'll see in the picture um, just on the screen there. So um, Marie's in the right, uh, in the back column, uh, in the back row, and uh, she's been great. She's a pediatrician here and uh, extremely compassionate, and it's just been wonderful working with her. Um, and then myself, um, we have the manager of medical services uh, with Northern Health involved, uh, Anthony Gagné, who's the engagement lead, and we had one patient involved. Um, so below you can see we've got a good mix there between uh, physicians. We have the patient, First Nations Health Authority, um, and uh, then we also have Kathy Olnick, which is the CEO, and then Ronald Chapman, who's the uh, Vice President of Medicine. And so what we, um, so I'll share actually what we did that day, so we can proceed to the next slide. Um, so just some of the things that we did to promote Change Day. Um, so the physician uh, project lead, who's, as I said, Marie Hay, uh, she's been promoting uh, Change Day at different events, like the Medical Staff Association in September. Um, so she also does educational events um, in Smithers, and she promoted Change Day there. And uh, last Friday, November the 3rd, was the Northern Doctors' Day, and she came to promote it there as well. Um, so where we started, we actually just initially started sharing emails with the physicians, promoting Change Day, just introducing them to the concept um, of Change Day. We provided them with some interesting quotes on change, some pledges of change. Um, and the other thing I did was, um, we also sort of created these uh, pledge boxes. So I just want to see, um, so we have this pledge box. Um, and uh, so what we would do with the pledge boxes, we would carry the pledge boxes with us. And um, so we would leave it in the doctor's lounge or we would um, leave it at uh, the doctor's day. 
and uh, with the pledge cards where the physicians could actually make their pledges, just drop it in the box, um, and then we would capture it online. So that worked really well with, uh, for us as well. And um, so uh, Northern Health uh, also developed quite an extensive uh, regional communication plan to promote Change Day, um, which has just been amazing. So they promoted Change Day in articles, posters, um, looking at the, uh, the desktop backgrounds, um, so uh, looking at Facebook, Twitter, the social media piece, which was amazing. Um, but we realized that in spite of the fact that the, there was a lot of promotion around Change Day, um, we needed to do something else. So uh, the project team actually decided we're going to do two campaigns. So we do, we actually um, doing two campaigns in the atrium or the foyer of University Hospital in Northern BC. So between uh, October the 31st was the first one because we thought we'll use the hype of um, Halloween and then November the 16th will be the second one. So from 10 o'clock to 11.30 in the morning, we have a program um, and that's what we, uh, Kathy Ulrich and Ronald Chapman from the Health Authority was involved. And also we had the Medical Staff Association president there and a number of physicians there as well. So what we did was we actually worked out a program. So every 10 minutes we would have interviews with different guests just around what does change they mean to them, what does change mean to them, share something about change in your organizations. Um, we had the patient involved uh, sharing about change and change day and um, just doing something like that, um, we actually collected 75 pledges um, the first morning that we had the event. So that was great. So the pledges that stand out for me was um, those made by physicians was just taking the time for them to listen to patients and um, and also then greeting, greeting their patients, also in different languages their patients may be speaking and um, other things that were different just in general was just people being a little bit more con considerate to, with others, like let a car in um, who's waiting to cross the road and get better control of my finances uh, and just see the good in, in one person every day and tell them. What was interesting, there was a teenager in the foyer last Tuesday as well and she said she's going to eat breakfast. So that was her pledge for change. And I thought, well, that's great to hear a teenager thinking about the eating habits. <laughs> and um, so our pledging is going well. Um, as I said, it's, it's new for us and uh, I'm very encouraged just to see um, how it's been, how it's evolved over time. Uh, we were originally not on the map or, and we started off with two pledges, uh, moved up to four at the end of September, um, October 38th and after last week. Um, uh, together with other events that um, others are doing as well, we moved up to 120, um, 120 I think, pledges, and we fall from the map, so I'm very encouraged. Well, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Renata. Wow, you have lots going on. I'm just, I'm amazed listening to these presentations and all of the things that you've all managed to coordinate to keep all these pieces moving. It's really impressive and, you know, your energy and passion for this is really apparent and it's just wonderful to see that it's having such a positive effect and all the people that you're able to connect with through the campaign. Um, I think all of these efforts are really important and, you know, there's always a face of the campaign that people will see and that's their first point of contact, right? And so it's wonderful that um, all of you have taken on this challenge and responsibility and that you're working so hard to do this. It's great. It seems like there's really starting to, to be a ripple effect of that positive change that we can see in the system through the pledges that are coming in. So thank you for all of your work on that. Um, did anybody have any questions or, or comments for Renata? I know there were some comments while you were speaking as well, just around some of those ideas. Any questions or did anyone want to ask anything further to get a bit more detail around what she was talking about? Great, thank you. All right, well, I actually had one, Renata. I was wondering if you, so you mentioned that um, you had quite a diverse team involved and you had physicians and managers and directors and patients as well. And I was wondering around the patient side in particular, um, would you be able to speak to how you built a successful partnership there and, and the involvement that your patients had in, in the work? 
Um, yeah, so I think it was it was new for the patient as well. I mean, I've I've never worked with a patient on my team yet, and so even that for me was new. But um, you know, I think the encouraging piece for me was that um, she was extremely um, excited about this uh, initiative. Um, and uh, so we, I think just with time, we built the relationship. Uh, we got to know one another. And um, I think she, enjoy, she enjoys working with the team, extremely responsive and um, just willing to help out wherever she can, media releases, possibly um, interviews with the community radio. And um, so I think it, dep it depends on the individual as well, you know? So she's very keen. So it's been amazing to work with her. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. Well, maybe it'll be something you'll be able to continue working on in the future too. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. And just a comment from Shelley Lynn in the chat. I've seen more engagement from our physicians here, more knowledge about change day. It seems to have more saturation amongst physicians as a whole. So you've been seeing that as well in, in Fraser. Great. Well, Great, thank you thank so you. much for sharing on those activities, Renata. Um, really nice to have you on the call today. So uh, last up, um, but certainly not least, we have the BC Nurses Union and a couple of representatives from the team there, Andrea Wardrop and Michelle, which is saying, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm saying your last name right, Michelle, you please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, good, good. Um, so welcome, and we're really looking forward to hearing about the activities that you have underway at BCNU, so I'll pass it over to you now. Great. Thank you so much for inviting us to be part of this session today. This is actually our first call um, yeah. <laughs> and we're loving it. And um, again, thanks for having us here. So uh, I'm Andrea, that's me with my name next to me. Uh, and I am a research and health policy officer here at the BC Nurses Union. And my name is Michelle Wajisinka. I am the professional practice and advocacy assistant here at the Nurses Union. I've been here for about four years um, and loving it. <laughs> so, um, oh, actually, first, did you want to talk a little bit about what the professional practice and advocacy department is? Oh, sure. Yeah, that would be helpful. Um, so the professional practice and advocacy department uh, deals with a lot of uh, different issues. Um, we have, we assist nurses in licensing and education. Um, we support them in professional responsibility and we do a lot of work in uh, health policy research and human rights and equity. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, how did this all come about for us? Well. Uh, the leadership at BCNU signed the nurses up to participate in Change Day. And when we heard about this, we thought, wow, that's such a great initiative. Why don't we try to get our staff involved in it as well? Um, so it kind of spiraled out of that. I, I have a huge interest in organizational psychology and organizational development. I'm hoping to move into labor relations um, at some point in my career. So. I, I was really, really pushing to, to make this happen in our workplace. Uh, and for me, before I got into healthcare, I actually thought when I started my educational uh, journey that I was going to open my own business and I was going to be in business management. So <laughs> I took uh, business management courses and day one of my first management course my instructor said something that really has stuck with me ever since, which is that uh, to be successful in business, you need to keep your customers happy and your first line of customers is your staff. And so for me, that just uh, speaks to how we can create these ripple effects of change. So if uh, Michelle and I take this on, then maybe we can create a ripple effect with our staff here in the office. And if our staff um, takes you know, really adopts this initiative, then they pass that on to our members who are the nurses. And then our nurses hopefully pass um, the ripple on to their patients. 
So we really wanted to make people perk up and listen uh, to to what we had to say. <laughs> uh, that we did, we didn't want this to be sort of just another uh, thing that pops up around the workplace that they didn't they didn't feel that they had the time to focus on. We recognize that you know that most people today, uh, certainly in our in our workplace. In the, they work in a complex environment. They're they're very busy most of the time, mm -hmm. and so uh, we wanted to make it something that really caught their attention uh, and and whet their appetite for um, you know to kind of see what was coming. And I have a personal uh, love for like uh, act, um, superhero movie trailers, mm -hmm. and, and we're kind of trying to bring a bit of that sort of flavor. So uh, we didn't start off actually by telling people what that we were bringing change day to our office. Uh, we just sent them a teaser video. Um, and you can see the text attached to the video uh, here on, on the presentation. Um, and we also posted posters around the office in all of the staff areas. So uh, in elevators and the lunchroom, um, Really, any staff area, any walls, <laughs> like anywhere where people walked by a lot. Um, and these are posters with different messages about change, uh, just to kind of get people thinking, you know, to, again, as a teaser, and also to get people thinking about change and what change means to them. So we're going to show you the video that we sent to staff. Um, if you could uh, turn on the speakers on your, the sound on your computer to hear it, that would be great. The sound isn't integral to the, to the video or to the message, so if you can't manage that, it won't entirely spoil it. <laughs> and enjoy. So we mindfully kept the video super short, again, in interest of, you know, not losing people along the way. Uh, and we got a wonderful uh, response from staff about it. We got lots of emails back. This is just a sampling. Um, and it seemed that we had succeeded in, in getting people interested and, and wondering what was coming next. Definitely. There was a lot of excitement, which um, was really great to see. Um, and the, these are the posters. So it ranged between kind of serious ones and whimsical ones. Um, and this one, which got some laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> um, yeah, so we tried to, to, to sort of strike a balance, I guess, between, uh, you know, between the seriousness of, of, um, of what we can do uh, with, with making it fun. Um, this is for the data nerds out there. <laughs> we have several of those in our office. Um, and my favorite one. Some Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Um, so after that, uh, on October 17th, we, set, we sent out Save the Dates to people just so they would hold um, November 17th in their calendars. Um, and if you'll, not, you'll notice on the Save the Date that we've, we've gone with a butterfly theme and we, we ran with this theme. We have been running with this theme throughout the, the, uh, the initiative, um, not just because of the, you know, the obvious metamorphosis of caterpillar to butterfly, but also um, I was reading about this American meteor meteorologist, Edward Lorenz, and he he came up with a with a um, like well it comes out of chaos theory and um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the butterfly effect but it's the idea that the flap of a butterfly's wings could cause a hurricane on the other side of the world um, it has the power to do that and um, while it's it's not pro it's not a proven theory it could not it may not actually be the case um, the idea still remains that 
small changes in the initial conditions of a complex system uh, leads to drastic changes um, in the results. And that's what we were really trying to um, build off of and, and drive within our workplace. But it's pretty funny that we chose butterflies because we actually both we really hate, hate butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Super creepy at the creature, but anyway. <laughs> so on uh, the evening of Thursday, October 26th, we uh, stayed after hours and distributed invitations to uh, the to our staff. Uh, and again, we were really trying to, at every step of the way, we were mindfully um, embodying our right, you know, the idea behind change day that, that you can do something small to, to have a big impact. And we thought, mm -hmm. you know, that, that um, not many people use paper invitations anymore or, or really mindfully invite people to celebrate with them. Uh, I think a lot of times our celebrations these days are kind of off the cuff and thrown together. Um, and so we wanted to do something really uh, authentic and yeah and also still building on the butterfly theme. So you can see a picture of uh, a box full of invitations on the left side and on the right side is the text on the back. Um, and in those little white pouches, um, we included a little treat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so they're fortune cookies. Um, you'll see just peeking out of there is a little fortune. Um, it says change is coming. So every single staff member walked in on, on a Friday in the morning and saw this little package and opened it up and got a fortune cookie and got to open it. Um, we just thought that it, it would be a really fun, cool thing to do for people. Uh, it, they're very difficult to make, just so you know, just in case you try. We, send, we also are not that. We are not master bakers at all, so we, we definitely went through a few batches before we perfected them, but... Um, I actually should go... Can, can we go back? No. Nope. Uh, okay. I should say that prior to this, we had, um, in our last email to all staff, we had uh, let people know, though, what change day is. We had sent out... I, I don't yeah. know how many of you uh, managed to actually read that text when we were on that slide, but... Um, we had sent out an official change day video and um, and information about the broader campaign so that people at this point did know kind of what this was all about. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the next morning we sent out an email just so that people knew that this was all tied together um, under the this same change day campaign. And um, I think that it really changed the tone in the office. It, it did. It, the air was different in the office that day. People were so grateful that we had gone to the trouble of, you know, providing an invitation to every person. And and I think it was just really well received, which energized us um, in our ventures and um, just continued the journey. <laughs> Uh, and it also, um, as I said, we were trying to, to, at every step, embody what it is that we're asking from everyone else. And so uh, making, making something kind of a little bit, not personal as in personalized to each person, but the two of us kind of doing something, the two of us to, to make things better for everyone in the office the next day, um, let, was an easy lead into us talking about the pledge that we made. Mm -hmm. um, so Michelle and I decided on a pledge together, which is that every day we'll leave something better than we found, than we found it. Um, and that something might be something as small as, you know, changing the, the uh, paper towel roll in the kitchen. And it might be something as big as uh, leading a relationship better than it was the day before or leaving a, a day better than it was before. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so we have used the invitation as sort of uh, an, an opportunity to go around and talk with people about 
Change Day as a whole and uh, what kinds of pledges people could make and the importance mm -hmm. of, of making a pledge. Yeah. And then, of course, we also included some more information about, we included the link to the Change Day webpage and videos uh, and encourage people to come talk to us. I'm using the wrong button. <laughs> uh, and that's our pledge tree. Um, we wanted to visually represent people's pledges, and um, we thought, hey, well, we have a butterfly theme, and why don't we, why don't we make it that? <laughs> <laughs> so as pledges come in, um, what I'm doing is I'm writing them on a little butterfly cutout. And putting putting it on the tree, and we're we've as the slide says we're displaying this in the atrium where everyone can see it. So hopefully, whenever people walk by, there are more and more butterflies on the tree, signifying more and more pledges. Um, and maybe yeah. every time people walk past the pledge tree, it'll remind them to pledge, or if they've already made a pledge, uh, to to put it into practice each day. Um, that is not no. the central atrium pictured there. That's my somewhat That's cluttered author. author. But <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, so we are leading up to our change day celebration on November 17th. So uh, in the afternoon, we're planning on um, getting cupcakes for everyone. BC New has generously um, approved that we order cupcakes for all of the staff. Um, with change day colors, and we're going to put the uh, I pledged buttons on the cupcakes to um, to signify that people have pledged. And then, of course, um, we'll share some example pledges, and we thought we might share a few with you uh, on this call now as well. So I have one here. I pledge to check on my elderly neighbors every day in my building to see if they need anything as our elevator is broken and won't be fixed for two weeks. As they are not mobile, they are stuck in their apartments. I have another one. Um, I pledge to be more patient with my mom who cares for my dad who has dementia. And I pledge to greet everyone I walk by in the office every day. So those are just a few examples, uh, and we will share a few more at the um, at the celebration. We'll talk a bit about the importance of sustaining changes that are made, and then something yeah. that's very sort of near and dear to my heart is uh, the idea of gratitude. So we will thank we will thank everyone for their part in the campaign, um, and uh, sort of there's research showing that. You know, the, the best way to increase joy is to uh, participate in mindful gratitude. And uh, so, again, trying to trying to walk the talk, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we will um, express gratitude and encourage folks to uh, express gratitude to one another for the small changes that they are that they are making uh, for the benefit of everyone. Yeah, and speaking of gratitude, I just want to, we both want to say thank you so much for inviting us to share our journey on this um, webinar. It, it was so great listening to everyone else's plans for Change Day, and um, we feel really privileged to be a part of it. So thanks, Ken, BC. Thanks, Robin and Sue and the Change Day team. I think wow. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless <laughs> after that. Thank you, both of you, for such an inspiring presentation and all of these great ideas. I mean, it's really apparent um, what a positive attitude you have and how you've tried to bring something that's really um, engaging and nice for people so that it's, you know, truly an invitation for them to be a part of something that they want to be a part of and then still linking it back to these meaningful pledges around positive impact for our health system. Um, you should be really proud of what you've accomplished. I think it's uh, wonderful to see, and we're so inspired by your work, as we are with so many of our change ambassadors throughout the province. It's just so energizing for us to hear these stories and um, see how everyone takes the campaign and runs with it in different ways. So thank you so much for taking the time to share that with us today. Um, I'm wondering if anyone would like to ask any questions. 
um, or any comments just based on this last presentation that we've heard from Andrea and Michelle. There have been lovely comments uh, in the chat box all the way through, so go back and read those if you haven't had a chance to look at them. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, um, oh, we've just got one comment here about David Bowie. We have a change day music playlist that we played during the pledge table. <laughs> so you, uh -huh, you're using yeah. Bowie as well. That's awesome. <laughs> great minds great too. Minds <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Awesome. All right. Well, we will um, we'll carry on. We've got about 12 minutes left on our webinar today. So we wanted to just give you a couple more updates um, from here on the council side of things around what's happening over these last couple of weeks. Um, we're really excited about the energy that we're seeing and all the pledges coming in. But, you know, really when it comes down to it, it's not about the number of pledges necessarily. What we've been really moved by is just the quality of the pledges that are being made. And people are, seem to really be um, thinking carefully about what's something important that they could do um, that, that's meaningful to them and also meaningful for our healthcare system. And so it's just, it's, it's really great to see and they spend the whole, spectrum um, and of course the personal wellness ones come into play as well because we do need to take care of ourselves if we're going to take care of others. So um, we just love watching all the pledges as they come in and I hope um, all of you are taking some time to view the pledge gallery too and, and see those stories. So um, I think as many of you know, we have our Steps to Change campaign, sub-campaign, kind of still running alongside Change Day right now. And this was inspired by a pledge that we heard about previously um, related to a walking challenge and wanting to walk uh, 171,000 steps by Change Day. And this group has grown, it's more than 70 people now, and uh, they've been collectively walking away uh, for the last couple of weeks, and they're at over 6 million steps already. So um, they've been on a little virtual journey to walk to Ontario and back through Alberta, visiting our Change Day partners in the other provinces. Um, so congratulations to that group. They're almost back in time for Change Day, and uh, they'll be here to celebrate on November 17th with us, but um, just congratulations to all of you who've been a part of that and taking on the challenge to walk a certain number of steps every day. It's really good to see you taking that ownership and action around your own personal health. Um, for those of you following along on social media, we've also been starting to share pledge cards. We're calling them social cards, um, which is just highlighting some of the pledges that are being made in our, our viewing gallery. So there's so many coming in all the time that it's kind of hard to keep up with all of them. And so this is a way for us to showcase some of those pledges that we're seeing. Um, so if you're not following along, really encourage you to check out Twitter and our Facebook. Uh, we're sharing these on a daily basis leading up to Change Day, and then we'll have even more that we're going to be sharing around on Change Day itself. So um, if that's something that you're interested in doing as well for your own pledges, uh, we do have a template for this that we can provide you. So let us know if you're interested in that. And yes, we've also got a countdown that's on. So leading up to November 17th, we're going to have a new gift every day, and we'll try to keep you on your toes with those and make them fun and interesting. Um, so we're, we're down to the last 10 days, which is really great to see. So this is another way that we're just counting you down online. And then our virtual celebration, which will be happening on November 17th. We wanted to just take a couple minutes to tell you about this. Uh, hopefully everyone on the CANBC list has received an Outlook invitation for this call. Um, but it's going to be a good one. It's a drop-in style webinar. So it's going to start at 9 a.m. and run to 12.30 p.m. And throughout the call, we've got lots of good stuff lined up for you. So we have a couple of international speakers, which I'll get to in a moment. We're going to have some local champions from right here in BC talking about the work that they've been doing with the campaign and some of the positive impacts that they've been seeing, just like we've been doing all the way through with our CANBC webinars. Um, and then I'm also going to talk about another little thing that we're doing uh, in one second. So um, just related to our international speakers, many of you may recognize these faces and know Jim Easton and Helen Bevan, but we're really lucky to be having them joining us. Um, this is really a prime opportunity to hear from some of the most well-known change agents around the world about transformational change and the importance of a movement like this and um, some of their own stories and observations related to Change Day, which did originate in the UK. Um, so Jim Easton is the Managing Director of Healthcare 
for Care UK, for those of you that don't know him. Um, he's been an executive in the healthcare system in England for over 25 years, all sorts of leadership positions um, he's held, and he's been at our BC Annual Quality Forum as a plenary speaker twice. So he's incredibly insightful and engaging, and uh, you won't want to miss him. He'll be kicking us off first thing at about 9.05, so he'll be the first speaker at the virtual celebration. Um, and then Helen Bevan, I think many of you probably know as well. So she is the Chief Transformation Officer with the National Health Service in England Horizon team. Um, and she's also been a change leader for over 25 years, um, really at the forefront of so many improvement initiatives that uh, we will have seen and heard about here, and she's kind of the catalyst behind a lot of them. Um, and she's also spoken at our annual quality forum a couple of times, and uh, you'll know her as a very passionate champion for improvement the world over. So um, she'll be probably speaking up next after Jim Easton, just given the time difference, because they'll be joining us from England. So we're really excited to have them. Um, and then we've also just recently confirmed Carrie Campbell from the BC Emergency Health Service here in BC. She'll be sharing about the activities that they've been doing, and we've got some other speakers that are still in the works, but we'll hope to announce those soon. So um, you can always check back on our Change the BC website for updates around that virtual celebration, but definitely save the date. I think it's going to be worth your time to drop in at least for part of the webinar um, to hear about what's happening with Change Day elsewhere, too. In addition to that, um, our hope is to sprinkle in some short videos of pledges in action. So um, we've reached out to a few people that have really great stories around change day. And if you know of other people that might be willing to participate in this and send in a short video clip, we would absolutely welcome that. So connect with us through change day at bcpsqc.ca if you're interested in that. But as part of the virtual celebration, we're also going to have a couple of videos to show you what um, people are doing around their pledge and the story behind their pledge and what it looks like to implement it. So these are really short video clips. They'll be probably one to three minutes long. Um, and I think they're going to be a really fun way to capture some of the activity and energy around Change Day from throughout the province. So watch for those. We'll share them online as well on Change Day itself, but we're really excited to capture some of those stories. So before I keep going, I just wanted to ask if there were any questions or comments related to our virtual celebration. I know some of you will have heard about this already through our newsletter and maybe checked online on our website too to get those updates. But just in case there are any questions, feel free to write them in the chat or unmute yourself and speak up now on the call. Well, I don't see anyone unmuting, so I'll just carry on. We've just got a couple of more slides, and then we'll wrap up for today. So before we leave you, we wanted to um, give you a small challenge, which is to think of the number five. Um, so as you know, we are working up to 5,000 pledges. We really want to get there. Um, we're almost halfway. But um, we were thinking that if everybody that joined our call and is part of this network were to encourage five new people to make a pledge this week and that those people did the same, we would probably reach our goal in no time at all. So um, this is just a fun little challenge that we're putting out to the system to see if we can help to spread that movement even further and encourage more pledges to come in. And, um, you know, I think part of what we've been doing anyway when we talk about this is it's not just about getting a pledge, but it's about thinking how we can all have, um, you know, an impact in some small way. So there are things that each of us can do, like um, our speakers earlier were talking about in terms of leaving things better than they were when we found them. Um, I think there's opportunities all over the place, and Change Day is about finding those chances to kind of identify how we can act in ways that might have that positive effect. So um, if you're up to the challenge, we'd love for you to try to spread the word and um, get five new pledges this week. And just a reminder, I, I pulled this picture from one of the earlier slides, and I don't know if this is from uh, a change day wall here in D.C. I think this is from the Surrey Memorial presentation or not, but um, wow, that's so many pledges, and it's really actually very cool to see them all written on paper all in one spot. You just get that emotional reaction when you see all of these commitments to change in one place. Um, so I know many of you are collecting pledges on, on post-it notes and postcards, and that's fantastic. So we just wanted to remind you that we also want to capture those online on our website. So if you don't have a plan or a structure in place to be able to enter all of the ones that you're finding people are writing down on paper, 
um, feel free to send them in to us and we'll do it for you. So you can always just drop all of those pledges into an envelope, send them our way, and we'll get them entered online so that they can count towards our provincial goal. Um, and also, if it's you know, you want to keep them up and you don't want to take them down because you kind of have done all this work to get all those pledges. You can also take pictures of them and email them to us um, and we'll enter them that way. So either way is an option. Um, just make sure that they're, they're nice and legible so that we can see what they say. Any questions about that before we wrap up today? I think that's about all we had. Um, you will be directed to an evaluation theory at the end of this webinar. We'd really appreciate it if you could take a minute to fill that out. It's not long, um, but we're always trying to incorporate your feedback to be able to make these webinars uh, meaningful and appropriate for what you need at the time. Um, so we'd welcome your feedback in that way. And um, other than that, if there aren't any other questions or um, discussion topics for the call today, I think we can wrap up. Um, but I'll maybe just give it one more minute to see if anyone wants to unmute their line or type anything into the chat. It's so quiet out there with all of you muted. <laughs> We really appreciate you joining today. So thanks for taking the time to come and um, feel free to follow up with us if there's anything at all that you need. Um, we just really appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, this campaign would not be successful with all, all of your effort and hard work. So thank you for being a part of it and connecting with us and telling us your story. We'd love to hear from you. And um, we've really enjoyed going along this journey with you. All right, well, have a good afternoon, everyone. Thank you.